Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're returning to the Traveling Blossom Tarot where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards, I'm so happy to have you here. I just want to say thank you for your support, your likes, subscribe, shares, all of that has been amazing. It's been tremendous. It's been unexpected, so thank you. Um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there might be something in the following reading for you, but before we uh, dive into the cards, just want to direct your attention over to my community tab where I'm giving away a free tarot reading every month via uh, Zoom or YouTube. It is your preference, whatever you prefer. I'm happy to do it either way. So get in on that. And um, also, I want to invite you over to join me and the other Blossoms over on Facebook for live free tarot um, every Monday. Ooh, every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, where? Okay. Eastern Standard Time. So sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get your cards out here. But yes, I go live every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's always free card pulls for you and a collective message. So please do join us over there. Love to have you come over there. All right. Pisces, you know what? This is nuts, okay? Your energy, your Pisces energy has been um, something to say the least. This is the fourth time I've tried to do your reading. Now I want to um, just note there are a couple of things here that are coming to light right now as the cards are coming out. The number four could be significant for you. This particular card that is overarching your energy came up in one of the previous uh, reads. Um, so I do feel it is strong, important energy. Uh, the number four is about its emperor energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. It's about the foundation. It's about uh, your stability. It could be regarding your home. It could be regarding your career, your job, your place of employment. You know, um, it could be about you leveling up, stepping up into a leadership role. Of your at work or something like that um, also I just want you to note that uh, it is raining here and um, every time I started to do your reading my guides kept talking to me about talking to you about the rain I feel there is a need right now for you to go out and uh, recharge in the water you're a water sign. We, as water signs, we soak up emotional energy. I feel like you may be overwhelmed with a lot of emotional energy and needing to rinse that clean. So um, if you are going through some sort of uh, hard time or, or anything right now, this could be about you getting out and recharging your energy near some water, uh, waterfalls, creeks, you know, bath, shower, however you need to do it. But um, giving yourself that little bit of love, that energy. Um, so I do feel those those for you. If that resonates, that's great. If it doesn't, it's okay to leave it right here for someone else, okay? Um, not all of it is going to fit Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, here we go. So you have the Phoenix, number 31, um, crowning you. Overarching you, not crowning you, but overarching you. It says, summoned, your flesh rises from the ashes and into the expansive flame of your soul. I feel like this is you um, leveling up in your spirituality. You're about to rise. I do feel a strong dark night of the soul where you've gone through a lot and you have been completely broken down completely. It could have been a complete ego death is what I'm hearing with that Aries energy, the number 31 emperor. It could have been a complete ego death. You may have gone through that and you're you're coming into your higher spirit your higher soul so that is an energy there that um, could be now another thing they're just showing me as i put the card down so this is important for me to note there are three b's one two and three i'm still getting used to my my new camera um so one two three they make a triangle 
that is the 369 energy of God, God frequency. So this could be um, something, there could be something there for you. The numbers 369 could be highly significant for you during this time or may have um, significance to your future. So possibly check those out is what they are giving me. Um, I also feel like you are rising into power. You are leveling up into something, whether it's at work, at home, your commitments, maybe you're going to get married, whatever it is. But I do feel a rise. There's a circle of the sun right there in those wings. Something is coming to full um, closure, like a full full bloom. Not even closure, but more like a full bloom. And I, I feel like a, um, a completion. You're completing a cycle. I really get strong world energy. And it's so wild that the world energy is there because as I look down to say I get strong world energy with this card I see the world is right here in your um, recent past so I do feel like something has changed um, oh gosh spirit we didn't do what's crossing them okay what's crossing what's crossing um, Pisces here please <laughs> Must be a reason. Maybe nothing is crossing you. Maybe this is full speed ahead. This is uh, all about moving forward, going on. A cycle has ended. You have healed, yes. Um, there, But a cycle has ended. It's your call. It's like a brand new beginning. You can go any way you want. You've got judgment crossing you. So right here at the heart of it, you have the Knight of Wands. So this is about your freedom. This is about you being freed from something. Um a cycle you know that full bloom something coming into full bloom uh, you've got the knight of wands this is a brand new opportunity it's fast it's fast approaching this is um, fast moving energy things could be taking flight really quickly for you this is about taking risks and um, moving you know chasing your dreams that's what this is about so this could be about you um, finally taking that step to take that risk. And then that could even be marriage for some of you. Maybe you've never been married, right? And so it is a, a little bit of a risk to get married. Um, and you have judgment crossing you. So it's, I feel like you're like, okay, do we balance each other out? Does this balance? Is this what I want for my life? Will this, be, you know, you're making a decision. You're at a crossroads. You're hearing the call. You're weighing your options. Freedom or over love. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This really could be about you um, tying the knot is what I'm getting because look at the scales. There's a leaf over here, and there's a heart on this side, and the leaf to me represents change and freedom and air, right, wind. Oh, the storm is picking up and then there's the heart so maybe this is about you uh, deciding whether or not you want to take yourself off the market you know maybe you you know want to be free that knight of wands that's you right here at the heart of the matter maybe this is about you leveling up in your commitment and you're trying to decide whether or not you're going to do this a cycle ended. Something wrapped up, though, recently. Something wrapped up for you. Um, what wrapped up? Maybe this person makes you feel whole and you're realizing that. Um, yeah, you in the past, in the in the past, you felt um, a lot of struggle. You felt a lot of, you know, difficulty within your relationships. I feel like now you um you're more solid you're ready for this like you're ready to go forth you're ready to take this on you're ready to build something you're ready to grow you're ready to step up and evolve you've got um the magician crowning you so you're definitely ready to manifest some dreams to bring some opportunities into fruition to build something into your life you are um, possibly manifesting a marriage. You could be planning your wedding right now. I mean, I don't know your situation, but you could be. And you're deeply in love. The King of Cups, this person really does complete you. They really do fulfill you. Um, you're deeply uh, connected to them. There's a strong emotional connection here with that King of Cups right there. 
a very deep, strong, emotional. You guys are connected to heart to heart. Heart to heart is what I get. Um, over here in your hopes, dreams, and fears, you do have uh, fears about um, balancing it all. You have the four of coins. Uh, this is about holding back. This is about, this is a miser energy, pinning, pension, that kind of stuff. So what I feel like it being in your hopes, dreams, and fears is you're, you're worried about finances. You're worried about the stability of it all. You're worried about um, the security of this. Will it be secure? Will it be long lasting? Will it be stable? Am I making the right choices, right? If you're making a choice, am I making the right choices? Um, is getting married right for me long term how does this look can i see myself you know living my life with somebody forever right because marriage is a commitment and can i see myself there i do feel like you're ready to um, chase a new dream you're ready for a brand new beginning um, i feel that strongly right here uh, outside influences, you have the Seven of Cups. So there's lots of choices. You are confused. I feel like not really confused so much as I feel that you are trying to decide your balance. You're, you know, um, Pisces, you're an emotional creature, but maybe you have, um, you know, some stronger air energy or stronger pinnacle energy or stronger fire or something like that in your chart. And it's making you... Uh, kind of really way really look at this like you're really looking at this because you know that marriage is a lifetime commitment and I feel like it's something that you don't want to take lightly and so you're looking at all all the choices all the options all the decisions you're looking at finances you're looking at the stability of it and uh, with the love with the security with the conversations of it all um, Will it last? Will it last? That is like the hopes, dreams, and fears, that four of coins. That's the big thing. Will it last? And the truth of it is, is you really don't know. You just have to be willing to take that risk right here at the heart of the matter, at the center. You have to say, okay, am I just going to do this? Am I going to take that? I mean, I am not going to know. Marriage is something you never know. You never know until you're in it. It's one of those things. So, uh, you know, you just have to take a chance on love. If you feel like this is the one, if you feel like this is the one, then, uh, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you whether or not you want to go for it, whether or not you want to um, uh, move forward. I do feel like you're ready to start talking with this Ace of Swords right here. I feel like you're ready to start talking. You're re you're almost ready. You're like on the brink of a decision, of a choice, and you're almost ready to start talking. Now, in your outcome, the potential outcome, you have the star with the Ace of Wands, so this could be your dream come true. This really could be your dream come true. This could be your person come true. This could be a very... Uh, magnetic powerful um, relationship look at that the Sun is always shining look looking off into the distance the Sun it's like the spirit is saying the Sun will continue to shine your dreams will be fulfilled oh, right here with the star your dreams will be fulfilled the Sun will always shine this is your way forward this is your opportunity of a lifetime your person is what I really get. Now, Pisces, that love energy is coming in really strong. So um, I do feel like uh, this may, with that Ace of Wands there, it's, you know, it's a brand new direction. So I feel like um, this is someone totally new, totally different. This could be about your opposite, right? Opposites attract. So this could be about your opposite. And you're looking at that like, but we have we are like total opposites right you are but remember together you can make magic 
this is crowning you. So I would say that with the magician crowning you together, you know you already make magic. You guys are creating a life. You're manifesting something here. You're ready for something to take place, to start happening. You're ready to move. I feel like strongly you're ready to start talking. Um, in your future, we have the page of coins. A stable opportunity, a secure opportunity. Only time will tell. It's your choice. Take that risk. Make that proposal. You know, uh, move in together. Whatever this is about, it's your choice. But only time will tell. The page of coins is the slowest moving um, night in all the tarot. So that right there tells me that time will tell. This is a solid opportunity, um, but it's your call. It's your call. Freedom or love? Freedom in love. You can have freedom in love. You can still be free and keep that spirit alive and um, all of that with love. But I feel like it's your call. It's and it's it's not marriage is really not an entrapment thing. But I feel like you know with that change in the heart there, so it's it's like it's your call um, between your freedom and a commitment is really what I get there. All right, so let's see. What else can we add to this spirit for Pisces, please? Definitely a solid foundation. This is your opportunity of a lifetime. It is totally up to you, Pisces. Um, if you do feel that you are um, trying to make this choice, trying to weigh out these options, do I, do I get married? Do I not? Do I make this proposal? Um, that's a tough decision. I get it. This is a, like I say, marriage is, um, it's a lasting in institution, you know, it's, it's meant to be lasting. So, and I feel like that that's something that you're looking for. You're looking for something that lasts for forever, Pisces. It's got, we've got accept coming out. Oh, wow. Okay. We had quite a bit coming out. Okay, first I want to go to this because I saw accept first. So we have accept coming out. It says be prepared to accept what fate has in store for you. So spirit is saying something is coming and that re that confirms. I feel like that dark night of the soul or that end of a cycle, something that's coming there. Something new is on its way. We have illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaken fantasy for a real soul connection. So that could be the option too that you're weighing up here. Um, is this real? Is this a solid connection? Look at this. I do feel like it is. In your particular case, the, the Pisces that I'm speaking to today, I feel like this is your person. And we have commitment. Commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship. It most certainly is. Are you ready to commit? And that's what it's really about. It's freedom versus commitment. So are you ready to commit, Pisces? That's, that's the decision that you're trying to figure out. I love this person. This person makes me feel whole. But am I ready to commit my life to them? And then we have the tree. It says, tell the tree what you really think. So I feel like spirit is reiterating. Get outside. Get into um, the forest, the grounds. You know, touch the trees. Touch the water. Get out there. Do something. And then we have link. I love this. I love this message. Before I read it, I just love this message because I want to, um, they're guiding me to couple it with this, confirming that this is a solid opportunity, okay? The bond of love grows stronger over time. Remember, only time will tell. You guys are linked together. You may have been linked together um, in lifetimes with that link card coming out. You may have been linked together for some time. Um, through many lifetimes. All right, let's get uh, Pisces a believe in their own magic. I think that you guys will have everything you need. Um, with that magician over top of you. I think you guys are great manifestors. You'll be able to manifest the, the life that you want. Oh my gosh, Pisces, can't make it up. 
Remember, at the beginning of this reading, spirit, my spirit guides were talking to me about the storm that is happening right here, right now, and about possibly affecting you. And you're going through some sort of storm. It's coming to an end, right? Look at this, number 44. Oh, gosh. Well, you do have a couple fours here, so that four, reiterating that four can be significant. But number 44, storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. It may be time for you to tie the knot. <laughs> Take yourself off the market. Look at this, number 34, Voyage. You already have all the answers, so you already know what you want. Now it's just a choice of whether or not you're going to go for it. And I want you, um, they're showing me 34 and 44. That's a difference of 10. So there again, it's, it's time. To end and start a new chapter so whatever you choose whatever you decide all right spirit let's get Pisces a mindful message as they're going through this time please what could help them out going through this I do feel you're ready to start communicating you're ready to um, you're almost ready to to maybe pop that question or that eight of swords that is communication and you are definitely communicating quite a bit here um, with the cards I feel all right spirit here we go Oop. okay I'm gonna start here once again I feel like they are saying meditate get clear center yourself go out Recharge that emotional body, okay? We have breathe. It's easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing. If I am feeling anxious or worried, I close my eyes and breathe in deeply as I picture myself filling up with white light. Then exhale and envision stress and tension leaving my body. In this moment, I am free to gently stretch and open my eyes feeling restretched. Re restretched refreshed so get out there go to that water sit as long as you need to take the time that you need for you um oh my gosh i was talking about the manifestation the magician crowning you guys right and you guys being a powerful manifestors and look at this card creators of happiness well it says creator i'm making a plural creators of happiness i reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness it's not it is not dependent on any outside source or individual therefore it cannot be taken away it can only or it can always be found within me i'm so sorry i was struggling with that might even want to reread that for you i reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness it is not dependent on any outside source or individual therefore it cannot be taken from me it can always be found within me you are the co-creator of your life you can create happiness with others or you can create it by yourself so whichever way you decide to go is the right way for you you got to do you first boo okay do you first all right let's get you some charms these could be signs indications for you from spirit to let you know that this is uh transpiring things are happening the change the shifts uh you know that wheel of fortune that you're looking for right okay no I didn't feel right. Okay, come on. Pisces. Pisces. Oh, there you are. Okay. It took a minute. My my pinky is my um, charm finder, so it took a minute for the connection to be made. Now, we have this weird fan. I feel like this is like a peacock feather, I swear, sometimes, but I don't even know what it is. But to me... I will look it up. <laughs> I will look it up. But it's that weird fan, like a palm fan. Could be a palm fan. Could indicate the beach, going on a vacation, taking a trip. This is also messages. This could be the start of you communicating. So if you see one of those like palm fans is what it really looks like. And look, you have the eagle as well. Definitely receiving messages. The eagles, they're the closest to spirit of all flying creatures. So these are very important messages. I feel like the divine is definitely working in your life with you right now to change that wheel because you're ready. You're ready, um, Pisces. And then last but not least, Pisces, you've got the letter Z. 
there we go. Yeah, you got the letter Z. So um, there to me, representing that end, that cycle, the world card, the end of a cycle could be that your name starts with a Z or dealing with someone that starts with a Z, or it could even be about reiterating to take that rest, to take that, get that recharge. However it resonates for you, Pisces, is how um, you should accept that. All right. All right, Pisces, this concludes your reading. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.